This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we are in Pueblo, Colorado. We are at Rosemount Museum. Since 1968, this museum has been providing the grandeur of a bygone era, sharing with its visitors the Colorado crown jewel. I'm here with Deb Darrow. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Let's start off, first of all, a little bit about yourself. Um, what is it that got you involved um, with the museum here? I started with the museum about 13 years ago. I uh, responded to a uh, job position opening that I totally was not qualified for, uh, but loved the house and uh, was very interested in history and um, historic preservation. So I thought, well, I'd take a shot. Interviewed and uh, was lucky enough to get the position, and it's just been a wonderful journey ever since. Let's start off here. We're talking about a 37-room mansion built in 1893. Share with us who this home was built for. All right. Uh, the home belonged to a prominent family here in Pueblo uh, before the turn of the century, uh, John and Margaret Thatcher. Uh, Mr. Thatcher came to Pueblo in the early 1860s, uh, sort of making his way out west from Pennsylvania, um, stopped here in Colorado, uh, was working at a store in Denver, driving a load of wear down here to Pueblo once a month, uh, discovered there was a real um, opportunity here in Pueblo, so he left his job there, came here and opened the very first mercantile. Basically, they, they commissioned a New York Victorian well-known architect to come in. What is the style that, that the home was done in? This home is a Richardsonian Romanesque. It was built by um, architect Henry Hudson Hawley, and um, it was a two-year kind of process to build. It took a lot more years than that to plan. Uh, so it was in planning stages for a very, very long time, uh, two years to build, and then, uh, you know, what you see today is um, what it ended up with, so... Yeah. Um, on the exterior, we're talking about a pink volcanic rock that was quarried here in Colorado locally. The inside, basically, you've got a mixture of different woods that really, it, it's a large place, but it still has kind of a cozy feel to it. Absolutely. The family itself uh, had lived in their uh, first home here in Pueblo for 27 years before they moved into Rosemount. So they were used to uh, much different um, surroundings and a much different environment, you know, smaller spaces. Uh, this was quite a culture shock for them and quite a change for the family when they moved into this home. Uh, so even though it was at the time one of Pueblo's largest homes, uh, it still kind of dwarfed in size to Mr. Thatcher's brother's home, which was catty corner across the street from us here. Um, and, and so it was a very big deal for the family, big deal for Pueblo, but still not the largest home here in Pueblo. So. That's hard to believe yeah. because even in, by today's standards, this is 24,000 square foot home. That is really large. Um, not only that, but the impact when you walk into the Golden Oak Entrance Hall, that must have been quite an impact back in the day. Absolutely. The uh, home itself has so many different features. Uh, Mr. Holly was very good at what he did in terms of designing homes, and uh, the Thatchers very much listened to his direction as they, um, you know, made the plans for the house. And so all through the house, when you, uh, you know, every where you turn just about. Um, there's just amazing architectural features, you know, amazing uh, contrasts and colors and things that complement one another. And it really is a magnificent home. It is beautifully lit basically by um, chandeliers throughout the home here, as well as uh, ambient light, stained glass um, that I've seen as I walked in. Um, are, are many of these furnishings all original? Yes, actually um, the home has about 85% originality to uh, it's all of its original furnishings um, textiles, you know, uh, artwork, pretty much everything from the original four family members who lived here in the home. We were lucky in that the family uh, made preparations for the house to become set up as a public trust wow. prior to the last uh, Thatcher passing away, and then his heirs sort of ran with that and helped to build on that. So um, because of that, nobody had a chance to really do anything different with the house, you know, take things in and out of the house, move things around. And, and the family, the last family members who lived in the house really did preserve um, what Mrs. Thatcher, the original Mrs. Thatcher, had done with the house anyway. So uh, what you see is pretty much um, completely original. Uh, what makes up the difference in the collection actually came from the brother's home uh, before it was unfortunately torn down. So we really display very little that is not Thatcher related. Interesting. Like you said, the original Thatcher, she had a lot to do with it here, including the selection of uh, 26 hand-woven rugs that we see throughout the home. Um, what about the name itself? What, where did that come from? The name Rosemount actually came from the lady of the house, Mrs. Thatcher. Um, she had a very strong love of roses, and uh, when the family lived here on the property, they had a 
um, you know, many, many roses out on the property. We don't have as many today as they had back then, but it was her love of roses. At the time the house was being built, the house was actually outside of the city limits, so Pueblo was kind of south of us here. Um, it kind of sits, sits up a little bit on a, on a hill, and so that's kind of where the mount part came from, so they just put it together. And of course, that was back in the day when um, it was very common to name stately homes. So. As the folks take tours throughout uh, the home here, they can take a peek in many of the rooms here. Photographs, video are not something that's allowed here, but you're able to take home a souvenir or, or a memento because you have a gift shop here. Tell me what we might find in there. In our gift shop, you'll find uh, several things that are related to the home. It typically carries a Victorian theme. Uh, so you'll see, uh, you know, teacups and, um, you know, tea bag holders, uh, lots of different art kind of things, uh, lots of knickknacks, different kinds of fun things, uh, jewelry, scarves, you know, things of that nature. A lot of Rosemount logo items, of course. Uh, but we do have a wonderful collection of photos from inside the house. So even though people can't um, take pictures inside, they can go home with you know, a postcard of every room if they want. The place is upkept very well. well. A lot has to do with the, in January, you close down for the month um, to keep it up to par, but really it's open year round. Share with me some of the events that can go on here throughout the year, um, especially during the holidays. The holidays are our busiest season. Uh, Christmas at Rosemount is what we call it, and it starts the day after Thanksgiving and runs through the end of the year. It is um, our busiest season because we are decorated um, completely inside and out for the holidays. It's a wonderful display. Uh, we have a women's auxiliary here at the museum, and they take care of doing the decorating for us. Um, they plan every room out uh, very carefully. Um, you know, the decorations are just magnificent, and typically about a third of our overall admission comes during that you know very short time frame so it is a it's a very special time here at the museum we have a lot of fun during the holidays um, and absolutely will invite everybody to come and visit during that time it really is the best so be it easter valentine's there's always something a little going on here for folks as well um, the outdoors has to be a great area for uh, wedding events is that something that can take place yes absolutely we do a lot of um, weddings and parties uh, reunions uh, you know, class uh, parties and graduation parties and things of that nature that do take place outside on the grounds. We have a lovely veranda, which is a rather large porch on the east side of the house. A lot of people take advantage of that. The property also has three very large lawns that people can take advantage of. Um, so it's a really nice area for things, you know, lends itself. The house is a beautiful backdrop. Uh, a lot of people come and picnic here, um, you know, th during the day um, when the weather's nice and things like that, because it is just a really uh, wonderful grounds to walk on, wonderful grounds to just sit and take in. The museum is open to children, adults, senior citizens. How much time should they set aside possibly to experience um, the whole tour? The tour takes approximately an hour to maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Kind of depends on your tour guide, sure. kind of depends on how many questions you ask. But for the most part, um, about an hour to an hour and a half uh, is pretty typical. Um, we do have a lot of stairs in the home, and so people who have trouble with stairs can take advantage of our elevator. It is the original elevator, so it's a little slower, um, but it is completely safe and runs fine and actually it's kind of fun to ride in. So we can accommodate, um, you know, getting a lot of people through the house and um, all throughout um, as, as uh, you know, a lot of people don't really expect that um, uh -huh. because uh, they just don't expect us to have the elevator in the home. But yeah, about an hour to an hour and a half, um, you know, if, if it's a... a Something that you really want to take your time for. The last two weeks of the year, we do self-guided tours. It's the only time of the year really we, we do that. And so people can, instead of having a guided tour, they get to walk through basically at their own pace, take their time. Um, we have people located in all the rooms. So as you go along, there's somebody there to tell you all about it. It's just that you're not with the same person as you go the whole time. Um, and we have people who come during that time, and, you know, they'll stay for hours. And, um, wow. and that's nice for, you know, people who like to do that and read every single, you know, sign and things of that nature. That's a really good opportunity for them. Different option, a way to experience it. Wonderful. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. First of all, on the website, you can check out the About page, learn a little bit more about the original Thatcher family. They begin here in Pueblo, Colorado. Quite honestly, they left a legacy here. They they began here early with the uh, first National Bank of Pueblo. Uh, he was a man that invested in quite a bit that went on here in the early days. You can also check out their calendar right there. Like she said, uh, the holidays are a very 
very busy time of the year. Not only that of Christmas, but year-round. They've got um, some great things going on. If you'd like to be notified by a post, you can also be a fan there on Facebook, and um, they can show you some of the things they're they're doing. The rates are always available right there on their website as well. Um, one of the a notable stop, maybe uh, related, would be that be the Carriage House Restaurant, which is on the grounds here. Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. The um, Carriage House is a really nice feature. Uh, it was the original house, uh, carriage house for the family, so of course that's where they kept their carriages and buggies and um, horses and a milking cow. It's been renovated for a restaurant, and so it's a lovely little spot um, you know, to have a wonderful lunch, a nice dinner, has a lovely patio, so it makes great, you know, great opportunity for outside dining. Uh, they do a lot of catering, so uh, receptions and parties and things of that nature. So it is, it's a really nice feature for us because people can double up. Of course, you can tour and then go have lunch, or you, know, you can um, maybe have a Christmas dinner and then the people in your party can come up afterwards and have an evening tour or something like that. So it, it really makes it a nice experience. Obviously the staff is always busy year round. Um, it's in the month of January that they are uh, doing their major upkeep, but quite honestly it takes an entire community um, that of the members as well as volunteers and contributors, fundraisers throughout the year to really keep this alive and well. Oh my gosh, that's um, so true. Our volunteers, we have a, a very large pool of volunteers. Our, all of our tour guides are volunteers. Um, all of our uh, women's auxiliary volunteer their time to put on all of our fundraising events as well as um, decorate for Christmas. Uh, we have um, museum members who do a lot for the museum as well uh, in terms of you know uh, PR out in the community and things of that nature. So it does take a lot of people to keep, you know, the house is an old house and so technically the house is the boss because just like at your own home, you don't know what's going to happen from day to day. So you might have one thing planned, but you come in the morning and you might have to do something completely different. Um, and so we have to pull from a lot of different resources and a lot of different places to get things done around here. Uh, but it's a wonderful community, wonderful place to work. Um, we're so happy that we have this house here. We're so lucky that we have it to share with people. And we just, you know, invite people to come and take it all in. Come in, take a look. Quite honestly, the original Thatcher was um, the first public school teacher here in Pueblo. This place still, her home is an education tool, I would imagine, for young and old as well. Yes, we do have a lot of school tours, um, you know, daycare centers, uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, things of that nature. People um, like to come Come and bring the children. Uh, children do get a really big kick out of the home. There's so much in here that is just so foreign to them. Um, things that they've never heard of or never seen. You know, even littler children um, can come for a tour and, and really sort of leave with something um, that they remember that was something they've never seen before or heard of. Um, and so it's really nice uh, to be able to share something like that with children. Hopefully, you know, it'll be here for a long, long time to come and, and generations to come can still experience the same thing. Generations can experience the Throughout the years, we're talking about something that began back in 1893 with the Thatchers. Last time, viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen. You can see their website right there, the contact information, hours of operation. This truly is a uh, place to get away here in Colorado. It has been known as Colorado's crown jewel. We want you to come out and take a look. The grandeur of a bygone era. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.